some young cop. Looks a bit familiar. Land of the free. Not their peak hours, it seems. How's the paperwork coming along, lady? A medieval uh, okay, fortress near an ocean. Maybe probably supposed through. to be somewhere in Europe. No good. We're gonna have to cancel lunch today. A bunch of cops Again? lining up for oh, a photo. Man. Your motivation shouldn't be limited by your growling stomach, man. If you say so, boss. Various notices and a wanted poster. A medieval fortress near an ocean, probably supposed to be somewhere in Europe. Fax machines, the pinnacle of modern technology. Might be something useful in there. It's that cop's phone. Might be useful somehow. Lanny, I need you to do something. Hi. Hello. Do I have to commit a crime to get your attention? Because I seriously will. Ma'am, I'm really quite busy at the moment. Hey, wait. I know you. I'm pretty sure you don't. Yes, I do. You're Kathy. Kathy Rain. My reputation precedes me, in a kind of, but not totally creepy way. Aw, oh, come on, it's me, Lenny! Lenny Marks! Oh, right, Lenny! Long time no see, buddy. Ain't that the truth? I suppose you came to town for the funeral? Yep, that's right. Sorry for your loss. Joseph was a great guy before, well, you know. Yeah, he really was. So, uh, anyway, what can I do for you today? I wanted to ask if you know anything about my grandfather's accident. I really don't know much beyond the rumors. The sheriff may have more information, but even he probably doesn't know anything that isn't in the report. It happened before either of us worked here. Okay, I think I'll have a chat with the sheriff then. Sure thing. His office is to your right. What's your opinion on this church? I think it's a nice enough church. Why? I don't know. The priest seemed odd. Kind of pushy. Yeah, I get your point. But I know the guy. He's harmless. If you say so. I don't want to show him that. Well, gotta go. See ya. Lots of police reports organized alphabetically by the looks of it. Hello, Sheriff. Do you have a moment? Not really. Make it quick. Do you know what happened to Joseph Rain in 81? He had a stroke in the woods. That's what happened. If that's all there is, why would Sheriff Truman open an investigation? It was just standard procedure. A general occurrence report always has to be filed. I see. Did you know him at all? No, I haven't been in town for long. Man sure has one hell of a reputation, though. It's been over a decade since he was put in that wheelchair, and people still talk about the man he used to be. It's like he was a cult leader or something. Sounds like a conspiracy theory to me. Could be, but you know what they say. Things too good to be true usually are. Could I have a look at that report? Absolutely not. They are official police documents. Why not? I thought filed police reports are public record. Not in this state, they ain't. Aw, oh, come on, Sheriff. What's the big deal? It was a long time ago. It would make this girl very, very happy. Are you trying to use flirtation on an officer of the law? Well, that shit may work on numbnuts like Lenny, but I got work to do. But I'm family. Doesn't that count for something? You consider yourself family? I've never even seen you before in this town. It's complicated. Guess what's complicated? Not to mention illegal. Handing out evidence to anyone who asks for it. Lenny, a little help here? Don't you agree that he's taking by the book too far? Well, uh, boss, she is his granddaughter, really. I don't think it's any... 
Don't you think I know that? There are rules. Am I the only one in here who cares about the law? Too much coffee? Try not to pop a vein. You want to see the inside of a cell? Oh, cuff me, officer. Spare me the torment of your rhetorical questions and veiled threats. Uh, just follow the rules like everyone else. I've had enough of this nonsense. Fine. That must be the sheriff. He looks grumpy. Hey, Sheriff, what's the deal with that bum? Tons of miscellaneous files. I don't see anything cell. labeled as police oh, reports, so those bad. must be elsewhere. Well, shit. A photo of the sheriff shaking hands with some bald guy in a suit. Probably the mayor. It's always the mayor. Just some photo. I can't see it clearly from here. A gold medal of some kind. Just some photo. I can't see it clearly from here. Just some photo. I guess somebody's a winner. How's the paperwork coming along, Lenny? Uh, okay, I guess. Maybe halfway through. That's no good. We're gonna have to cancel lunch today. Again? Oh, man. Your motivation Not sure where those doors lead. I should go check it out. If you say so, boss. A jail cell. Looks cramped. If I ever feel the urge to clean, I'll know where to go. Huh, very funny. Looks like an incarcerated bum. Hey. What? I can't hear you! Hey. What? I can't hear you! No wanted posters. I'm disappointed. What a tiny TV. Thanks. That was getting annoying. Hi there! So, why'd they put you in that cell? Uh, well, uh, it, it's all just a big misunderstanding. Is that so? Yeah, I, I didn't mean to steal anything. I was just using my pockets to move the beer to the checkout. That's the worst excuse I have ever heard. For your information, I happen to have a deadly fear of shopping carts. I take my last statement back. This excuse is even worse. Hey, it wasn't your father who was killed by a shopping cart when you were eight. Uh, I sure hope not. To be fair, mine wasn't either. It was just Uncle Bob. But that doesn't mean it was any less traumatic, mind you. To this day, I still get nervous breakdowns at grocery stores. I think I've heard enough, buddy. You're right. We should stop before the flashbacks begin. You need to keep the blonde cop out there busy for a while. I do? Ten bucks says you do. Hmm. I'd say my services in this matter are worth at least 20 bucks. Nine. Fifteen. Eight. Fine, ten. Seven. <sighs> Deal. Good. So, uh, what am I doing again? Distract that young cop in the lobby. I don't care how you do it, as long as you keep him occupied for a while. Okay, then. Let me know when. Will do. An axe, a sledgehammer, and some other heavy tools. Brilliant idea to leave those lying around next to evidence lockers and locked cells. Too heavy to carry around and too noisy to use in here without getting caught. Just a bunch of boxes filled with office supplies. Just a bunch of boxes. A computer monitor. 
Probably recovered stolen goods. There's no way small town cops would be that up to date with the modern world. They look sturdy enough. Wouldn't be able to break them open without taking my time and making a lot of noise. If I ever need to find evidence, I'll know where to look. I'll need a key. Hey, the jail is off limits. You shouldn't be in there. Oh, sorry. I, I just heard someone yelling. Uh, I think that guy in the cell needs some help. Ah, <sighs> oh, what now? Okay, I have to make this quick. Lots of police reports, organized alphabetically by the looks of it. Okay, let's have a look. Hmm, I'm gonna have to get my hands on that recorder. Okay, let's find the key to locker number five. Got it. A small key to the evidence lockers. I need you to do something. How can I help us? It's my mother's birthday this weekend. Looks like an incarcerated bum. Hey. Hi there. Okay, gotta go. See ya! Alright, got it. Self. Remember the perfect bouquet consists of three red roses, a blue violet, and two yellow tulips. I've been working on my research in the attic at night. I just don't want her to worry. She has enough to think about with everything that's been going on lately. With Sharon and Kathy. Anyway, I'm getting closer to finding the source. I have a theory, but I need help. I'm gonna have to involve somebody else. Hey, uh, Kathy, wait. What? Do you eat foot? I, I mean, food? Absolutely not. I feed on human misery. I, uh... Relax, Lenny. Yes, I do eat food. Oh, well, great. Can I buy you food sometime? And also buy food for me? And, and then maybe we can eat the food together? I'm really busy right now. Maybe later. Oh, okay. 
See ya. dear. Mind if we talk for a bit, Grandma? Not at all, dear. What's on your mind? Hey, Grandma, do you recognize this tape recorder? Oh, yes. Mr. Dicto. Joseph used to carry that thing with him everywhere. He could be absent-minded at times. It helped him remember things. I got the dictaphone already. I don't think there's anything else in there I need to mention to her. Would you mind if I took a look in the attic? I suppose it would do no harm. Come with me. Thanks, Grandma. You're welcome, dear. Be careful now. Nothing. The bulb must be burned out. The bulb looks burned out. I'll have to replace it. A small table lamp. light bulb. Score! The bulb looks burned out. I'll have to replace it. There we go. Mr. Bear! Oh, how did you get all the way up there? Good idea. You just keep watch. I'll do the searching. Various books and office supplies. Nothing in particular catches the eye. It looks like someone was doing geometry. I can't make much sense of it. Decades-old coffee. Lovely. Uh, yeah. I'm good, thanks. An old typewriter covered in cobwebs. Just some old bills. Nothing interesting. A worn office chair on wheels. I'm feeling a sudden urge to do a race. A thick book about math.
There has to be some way of figuring out the code. I'm sure both the math book and the first message on the tape have something to do with it. Note to self. Remember the perfect bouquet consists of three red roses, a blue violet, and two yellow tulips. I've been working on my research in the attic at night. I just don't want her to worry. She has enough to think about with everything that's been going on lately. With Sharon and... Note to self. Remember the perfect bouquet consists of three red roses, a blue violet, and two yellow tulips. I've been... yellow envelope. It's the envelope I found in the briefcase. Let's see what's in here. There were two pictures, a newspaper clipping, a key, and a tape inside. It's a small key, fairly modern design, no identifying tag, unfortunately. Tragic drowning in Conwell Springs. In early morning on Sunday the 14th, a teenage girl found dead near Conwell Lake. The girl is survived by her mother, father, and younger brother. The funeral service will be held at Conwell Cemetery on the 21st of July. The notice is dated July 15th, 1975. Tragic story. I wonder why Grandpa saved this. Grandpa in uniform with two other men. Something is handwritten on the back. Flight training, McConnell Air Force Base, 1941. Looks overexposed. I can't make much out. I think I see trees in the background, but most of the picture is just bright white. There's probably some way to enhance this back at school. I'll figure it out tomorrow when I'm back. Standard microtape labeled answering machine. It should play fine in Mr. Dicto. The tape I found in the briefcase. It seems that it was used in an answering machine at some point. You've reached the rain residence. Leave a message after the beep. Hello, Joseph, Mrs. Rain. It's me, Charles. I thought I'd give you a call. Erica just had her firstborn. It's a boy. Thankfully, he looks nothing like his father. Uh, listen, I was thinking maybe you'd like to come and visit. And what about your little Kathy? Maybe she wants to see the baby. Well, anyways, I hope to see you soon. All the best. Bye. You people make me sick. We're never coming back. Don't call, don't write. If you ever try to contact us, I will call the police. Joseph, you...
you there? It's me, Cocky. I, it happened to me, too. And I'm not going to tell any of those bastards. They got it all wrong. You're the only one I trust now. Just call me back as soon as you can. Hmm. I wonder who this Cocky is.